Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I'm going to be continuing to show you guys my jersey collection. I'm going over the Quebec Nordiques and the Colorado Avalanche today. So I have five jerseys in total here and two hats as well. So let's not waste any time and let's show you guys the first jersey in my collection, which is a Quebec Nordiques one. Okay, so starting us off, we have a Quebec Nordiques 1980 to 1989 home jersey here. And as I'm sure you guys can already tell, this isn't its own individual crest. It's like screen printed on. It's actually really poor quality and I'm really upset about this jersey because I bought it off of a site called Grail, which I use a lot actually. I don't mind Grailed, it's definitely a decent place to go look for jerseys, but I saw this jersey like pretty early on in my jersey collecting and I saw it for $40, which is what I paid for it, and I just wanted to get it right away because I knew usually like these go for like $100 and I wasn't paying enough attention to realize that the crest is screen printed on and it's not its own individual thing, so I kind of got a little bit bamboozled in a way, which is a little upsetting, and this is the only Quebec jersey in my collection, which is a little bit unfortunate for sure. I definitely do want more Quebec jerseys in my collection. I would like the blue one as well, and I would want them in like a CCM vintage probably, so it is a little upsetting that this is the only one that I have. Although all the Fleur de Lis are actually like on pretty well, like usually with these jerseys, you can kind of see them falling off, like especially with the CCM mask ones, the Fleur de Lis are usually like falling off, but these ones are all on pretty good and they're all in pretty decent condition as well. It's just the logo itself that obviously is a little upsetting to me. So it's literally just the logo that I don't like about this jersey, just because of the fact that it is heat pressed on or screen printed on, I should say. But anyways, I do also have a hat that goes with this jersey, so let's show it. So there's the hat. Like I said, it goes really well with the jersey, of course. It is an Adidas hat, um, and then there's nothing on the back there. But yeah, anyways, like I said, I want a new Quebec jersey because I really don't want this one in my collection anymore. Just unfortunately, I haven't been able to find one that's like in my size and in a price that I actually would want to pay for. And also, I just find Quebec jerseys kind of hard to find because everyone wants them so badly. So it is a little unfortunate, but one day I will get a jersey that actually has a crest here and I'll be able to sell this one because, yeah, I obviously don't want it in the collection, but I'm only keeping it here because it's my only Quebec jersey. Now onto the first Colorado jersey in my collection here. It is their 2014 to 2015 home jersey and it only is for that one season because of the fact that it has... Jerome Aginlo on the back, so he only played for them for that one season there, so that's why I qualify it for just the 2014-15 season, but I really like this jersey a lot, more just specifically because it has Aginlo on the back. I do think the jersey is fine itself. I mean, I love the Bigfoot logo on the shoulder patches here. I think that is a great looking logo. I did talk about that a little bit in my secondary logo video that I uploaded just the other day, but I actually don't mind the piping on this jersey either. I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me, I actually don't mind piping on these Reebok jerseys. I am kind of glad they got rid of it, but I don't think it looks that that bad. Although one thing that I do miss on this Colorado jersey is the fact that there's no like mountain shape at the bottom or anything like that or anywhere at all. I do really like that it has that on the new jerseys and how it had that on the old jersey as well. That's one thing that I miss that isn't on this jersey right here. But like I said, the main reason that I actually bought this jersey and the main reason I really like this jersey a lot is because it has Jerome Aginla and just the customization on this jersey is so, so nice. I'll show you guys up close here. So as you guys can see, not only does it have the sparkle around the numbers itself, but it has Glacier Twill which is probably my favorite kind of customization kit in the NHL. I think it just looks so nice. I love just how the numbers look and everything like that. Like, just look at that. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's really the main reason why I like this jersey so much is just the customization. I just think it looks so beautiful. But I did get this jersey off of Kijiji and I got it for $80, which I think is a pretty decent price. So anyways, this is the jersey that I'm going to hang up. I've decided to hang up this jersey here. So let me hang it up and then we'll move on to the next jersey in the collection. Okay, so as you guys can see, I replaced the Oilers banner, got the jersey up behind me. But anyways, let's move on to their 2015 to 2017 third jersey here. I love this jersey, man. I think it is so gorgeous. This is the Reebok version. Obviously, they do have it in Adidas now. I really don't mind having it in a Reebok, so unless the jersey is cheap, then I probably won't get it in an Adidas or upgrade it to an Adidas, so. Uh, but either way, like, I just really love this jersey. I love the striping and everything like that. I really do like these shoulders a lot. The only thing that I don't like about this jersey is the fact that it does have the Colorado State flag on the shoulders here. I actually really don't like that. I don't like when teams do that. I don't really know why, but it's just not really my thing. I'm not a fan of it. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this jersey. Other than that, though, I think it is great. It's fantastic. I love the burgundy at the end of the sleeves here. I think that's fantastic as well. Like, this is one of my favorite Colorado jerseys. I just think it's so nice. And I got this jersey here just off of some random eBay seller for $60. So that's a pretty good price for me. I was quite happy about it. 
But yeah, anyways, I don't have a hat for this jersey, so let's move on to the next one in the collection. Okay, so moving on, we have their 2020 Stadium Series jersey here. I love this jersey, man. It's just a lot of fun. It's very, very stupid. There is only one thing that I actually don't like about this jersey, and it's the difference in between this part of the jersey right here and this right here. As you guys can tell, this is like a different material. Like This is just like a little bit more shiny than this part. It is the same color, and it's supposed to be the same color, but just since the material is different, it shines a little bit differently, and so it looks like a different color in some lighting for sure, and that's the only part I don't like about this jersey. I kind of wish they just made everything the same material. I think it would have just looked a lot nicer in my opinion so that's the only thing that I don't like about this jersey and as you guys can tell this one is customized and I got Nathan McKinnon on the back here and it is pretty nice I do like the customization on this jersey as well I think it's pretty neat I got this jersey from cool hockey it was during one of like their 40% off sales I think this was like one of the first jerseys that I unboxed on the channel actually so you guys have might have seen that video before very possible but yeah I do like this jersey a lot it's just so goofy so stupid just a lot of fun I do really like it. Oh, and it does also have like the Colorado State flag in the back of the collar there. That I don't mind. I don't mind if it's in the back of the collar, but like I said, I just don't like it on the shoulder. But anyways, let's move on to the last jersey in my collection. Well, the Colorado part of my collection. All right, so last up, we are kind of running it out with a Quebec jersey. So I kind of have two Quebec jerseys in a way, but obviously this is the Colorado Avalanche reverse retro jersey, which is just gorgeous, man. I absolutely love this jersey. Obviously it's the exact same kind of pattern and everything as that previous jersey, but I actually do really like the kind of burgundy on this jersey. I almost like it a little bit more than the blue in a way. Sometimes I like it more than the blue, sometimes I don't. It kind of depends on the day, but I do just really like this jersey a lot. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's just a lot of fun. I mean, everyone loves the Quebec Nordiques jersey, so it just being in a burgundy is just a little bit cooler. It's something neat, but it's still like classic in the same way. Now, I actually might get this jersey customized. I'm not in love with the customization on this jersey, but it is a little bit bland without any customization but I actually just want the customization on this jersey or want this jersey customized I should say because of one specific player and it's not because of anything he did on the ice. The player that I want on the back of this jersey is Pierre Belmar and the reason is is because first off there was a viral clip going around before the Lake Tahoe game he was in an interview and he was saying just how excited he was to play on Lake Tahoe and he couldn't wait to play on a lake and he's never done that before in his life and then the player beside him I don't remember what teammate it was but he informed him and he said you know we're not actually playing on the ice right we're playing just beside it and and he just got really sad and it was just really funny it was a great clip and the second reason is because before he actually went onto the like tahoe ice he dropped a stick like right in front of like a couple of people like i'm sure they were like maintenance people or whatever i'm not really too sure who they were but after he like dropped his stick like right by them he was just yelling hot stick hot stick and i don't know it's just they're two funny clips so i'm like you know what i'll go with him that's funny enough for me so he is probably going to be the player that I will get on the back of this jersey. I'll try and find both clips actually and I'll link them in the description so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and why I want to do it. So that is kind of why I want him on the back of this jersey here. Anyways, I do also have a hat so I'll show you guys the hat. So here's the hat that goes with the jersey and obviously it matches perfectly. I really do like this hat a lot. I think it is just so so gorgeous. This is a Fanatics hat as you guys can see and I just got it at like my local mall so... I was very, very happy about it. It does also have the NHL shield on the back there, all nice and shiny. But yeah, anyways, it looks nice. It's a great kind of setup and everything like that. But yeah, I absolutely love this jersey. It is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorites in my Colorado collection. Okay, so that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. But also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.